Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm going to talk about the top 10 tips for becoming extremely good at negotiating. This video will change your game. I want to tell you this. I made up with closing, negotiating, overcoming objections. When I give you these 10 today, I will tell you this. You could double your income if you'll right now stop, get a piece of paper, get a pen to write on, and physically take notes as I go through this. You're going to find not only, heck, some of you guys may find 10 holes in your game today, but every single one of these will help you today negotiate deals, get a fast win, and start making more money. And by the way, before I get into this, okay, remember, I need your help starting from today forward. Please stop what you're doing right now. Give me a thumbs up on the video, okay? I put out this sales training for free, which means all you have to do is just watch it. You get it, it costs you nothing. And by the way, I want to create the best salesman in the country. That is my goal. And, and subscribe. If you, if you don't know who I am, I've been selling cars for over 23 years. I have my own training company, but I want to share with you, the advice that I give you is advice that I use every single week in dealerships right now when I fly out across all over the country. And as I close car deals, these are the things that I use right now in 2020, and my, my game is sharp. And I want you to take the same skill that I have back into your dealership, use it today, and give your family the life that they deserve and the income that you deserve. So give me a thumbs up, like the video, and shoot me a comment below, even if it's just like, appreciate the video. That helps with my YouTube algorithm, and I can, I can reach more people. So negotiation skills, these are the top 10 that I have on my heart that I wanna share with you that's gonna help you. We're gonna start out just getting warm and then we're gonna get deep here. All right, so people are motivated by different things. That's number one. What does that mean? That means this, what's important to your customer, it doesn't matter what's important to you. What's important to your customer is what matters. I use the word motivated. People are motivated by different things, which means you have to find out what motivates them. If you do and you can find that out, you can leverage the deal. Just understand, every single person is different and every single person's motivation is gonna be different. Number two, every negotiation is different. So in our spring master closer seminar, April 4th and 5th, I have four seats left. If you, if you wanna join me and you're out there and you're like, Andy, I wanna become the best closer in the country, I got four seats left and we're completely booked. Reach out to me, 918-210-0254. I'd love to... Uh, to have you join and let's rock it. But I want to tell you this, every negotiation is different. Why I say that is like in the Master Closer Seminar, we teach you to handle the 30 types of negotiations that we see every single time. You say, man, Andy, I don't even know what that means. It's cool. You just don't know what you know. I love negotiating. It's my favorite thing. But every single negotiation is going to be different. There's never one that's going to be the same. They're always going to be different. Now, Number three, your customers are thinking about stuff. I want you to stop for a second and think about this. Your customers are thinking about stuff. That stuff is very valuable to you and you have to surface it. What allowed me to have the deadly niche against all the other salesmen in the company is that they had one thing in, 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 in their mind. Get the deal, get the sell. I wasn't thinking about that. What I was thinking about is how can I extract this valuable information that this customer has going on inside their self. So how did I do it? I did it by getting the customer to talk constantly. And I remember to remember what I heard the entire time through the sale because I would remember and take this valuable information and I would leverage it during negotiation time. Now, negotiations is an art. It's a skill. It's not something that just happens off luck. If you really want to make big money, I want you to realize this is the point in your life where you start to understand as I'm going through these that this is an art. Everybody can catch a football, but not everybody makes it to the NFL. That's this. Everybody can take a pencil down and try to close a customer or even close customers, but nobody can make three to 400,000 a year unless they really sharpen their tools. This will help you sharpen your tools. All right, if, if you surface this valuable information that most people never think about, you will have massive power over the negotiation. What do you wanna have? You wanna have massive power. So you have to get that information. Everyone has something going on inside their head. I always say this, a sentence is going on inside someone's head when you meet them. If you can finish that sentence going on inside their head, guess what happens? They'll buy from you. That's the way it goes. Why? Because it makes them feel like it was their idea. 
I want to share with you, this is where we start getting advanced. Everyone has something going on inside their head. You need to know what that is. Where they feel that the deal is going, not where you feel it's going, where they feel that the deal is going, okay? Where they feel like their life is going. Isn't it important where the person, when you're dealing with them, they feel, you understand that you know where they feel the deal is going, and you also see past that and understand where they feel like their life is going. Because they will make decisions today based off where they think their life is going tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Andy. I'm going to be giving away a couple beach vacations, lots of free content. Make sure you're following me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Guys, have a great day and don't miss some of this great stuff coming out. And if you can see farther and further ahead of than just the deal that's sitting in front of you from your customer's perspective, then you can actually join in with your customer and leverage that to close deadly, okay? These are things you may have never thought of before, but I want you to start thinking about these things. And it doesn't get confusing. It just allows you to be 10 times smarter. There's people that work harder and there's people that work smarter. I work really hard, but smart is what makes you the big money, okay? But, um, you wanna know where they feel like their life is going and what they're hoping for as far as future expectations. Their future expectations, I play on that a lot. So the deal is I need to know what that is and a lot of the times we never find out what that is. So let's move on to number six. During a negotiation, people remember the end of a conversation. I just wanna tell you during a negotiation, how do I finish the close? I always finish the close or when I'm closing a deal into tying it back in and not leaving it open-ended. What did that mean? That means if I make a presentation, I've just let the customer speak, right? They, they've been heard, now I am going to be heard and I go in for my clothes, and when I'm done, I'm not gonna say, okay, Mr. Customer, so what do you think? And just leave it open. No, I'm gonna say, so does it make, doesn't that make complete sense to trade? Absolutely. So I apologize, I forgot to ask you, when did you wanna set your first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month? What's gonna work best for you and your family? And I'm just tying it back into the close. They will remember the end of a negotiation, okay? Number seven, this is gonna get good right here. Customers want a negotiator, they want one. They tell you they don't, but they do. This is what they want. Customers want a negotiator, a closer, a deal maker, a problem solver. They do not want someone to just agree with them and want to be liked by all the time. Nobody wants to buy from an ass kisser, okay? Let me explain this to you. Be deadly at closing negotiations, overcoming objections. Be confident. Your confidence will be bulletproof, right? If you understand and you train in negotiations. And when it's bulletproof, your customers will see the believability that this is the way to go. And instead of looking at you as a car salesman, they'll look at you as an advisor and an investor. And when that happens, it's game, it's game over, it's lights out. This is the best business in the world to be in. Let me remind you, there is a next level for you there's a next level for me. Just like I just got done going to um, a 10X growth conference this last weekend for three days straight in training, guess what? I am literally telling you that I'm never going to stop training. This morning, I spent an hour over here training with Tony this morning, right? And literally role playing back and forth. And you may say, Andy, what are you doing? I fly out and go to dealerships all across the United States. And guess what I do? Every week when I fly out, after I train their sales guys, I go on the floor for an hour to prove myself. And every single deal that I touch, I close. And I make all the money. And do you know why? I do it to prove to other people that it's possible. So I want to share with you, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. And your best life sits on the other side of you training. The difference between where you are now and where you want to go is the gap in your skill set. Never forget that, all right? So let's move into this right here. Number eight. Gosh, I love this one. This is great. Number eight, incredible buyer management will put your deal together. Do you know how many salesmen don't understand what buyer management is? Think about this. We know what management means, right? And then who do we sell to? The buyer. Do you guys manage your buyers? You have to. Advanced sellers, the top salesmen in the country, the one percenters, the person you want to become, they do buyer management. Buyer management will put your, your, your deal together. You have to have very strong trust to have buyer management. How do you get strong trust? Great question. You get it by frequency. What does frequency mean? How do you get frequency? It's the act of showing your customer that you're working hard for them. 
Look, I wanna tell you something. I don't care how hard you think that you're working for your customer. It matters how hard your customer feels that you're working for them while you're working. You know, a lot of the times when you take a customer in, um, it may be after a test drive, right? And then you say, hey guys, give me a second, I'm gonna do some paperwork and I'll be right back. They don't know what you're doing. And the fact that you've separated from them, they will watch you move around the showroom floor. You don't think that they're watching you, they are watching you like a hawk. If they don't feel like you're working hard for them, you know what happens? Guess what? The buyer management goes away and they don't trust you. But if the customer sees that you're working hard for them and you're engaging with them and you're staying in touch with them every 30 seconds and being like, hey guys, this is what I'm doing. I got you. I'm handling this. I just want to let you know you're important. You're everything to me. I'm not going to say just this car. I'm going to say every car you buy for the rest of your life. I'm grateful for you. Let me get you some more coffee. We're almost there. My manager's driving your trade. You guys are amazing. How did I get so lucky? Buyer management. Now they see you. They see frequency they trust you, and then they want to buy from you, okay? So that's huge. Let's move on to number nine. This is a huge one, and number 10 is giant. But number nine, mirroring your words, your body language, your posture, your voice tone. Guys, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those four things, write it down. Words, body language, posture, voice tone. This has a great impact on how the other person interacts with you. How do you want your customer to interact with you? Well, it's real simple. The way that you handle these four things, minimum and more, but these four things, you can control these four things. And when you can control them, you control the customer, okay? Never forget that forever. One of the best negotiation tactics, skills, traits, tips ever is right there. Okay, number 10, and we're gonna roll it out. And I could have done 50, okay? But I did 10 because obviously you guys gotta go to work. So let's just kind of keep it short here. Number 10, he or she who speaks most loses. He, I didn't say first, I said most. He or she who speaks most loses. Let them talk. You may even change your mind on how you would have handled the deal. After they talk, let them be heard so that they're willing to hear you. Let me explain what I mean. This is pretty simple. Who's the first person to talk during negotiation? Me. I always am. People, I, I listen, old school, I hear managers say all the time, the first person to talk loses. Bull crap. The first person to talk sets up the sell and the direction on how the close is going to go. So when the customer says, there's no way we're paying that, I'm not going to let them keep running their mouth. You know what I'm going to say? I understand. I get it completely. I'm going to neutralize the situation and then I'm going to allow them to talk. And I'm going to say, okay, go ahead. And I'm going to let them talk. And do you know why? Because they won't listen to me until they're heard. Think about it. If you have a problem with something, have you ever tried to talk to someone about it and all they want to do is keep talking, but you're getting frustrated and you're actually getting pissed off because you can't be heard? Think about it. How many times does that happen? Well, that's how our customers feel. But salesmen keep doing this. Yap, 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 yap. Guess what? Talk for 10 seconds and let them talk for three minutes. Let them get it out. Get it all out. Why? Because I will take everything that you just put out on the table and I will use that to leverage my next move. You see, going into a strategy, if I got a customer that wants to be at 300 a month and I'm at 550, I know I got a $250 payment bump. But do you know what? Going into it, I have a strategy in my head that I'm going to use. But after you're done talking, I may continue with that strategy or you know what? I may loop around and come in another way based off the information I just gathered from you. That's lethal. And then let's move into the second part of it. Now that I understand what the customer's saying, I can leverage that and fully close them now in one shot. Now check this out. If the customer has not been heard yet, even if I have the best way in, will they listen to me? No. So let them be heard. Let them get it out there. And then when they do, you're gonna crush it. Guys, listen to me. If you love the video, if this has helped you in any way, Give me a thumbs up, like the video, share it with your friends, please. I want to reach millions of people that do sales training. Do me a favor, that, that, that sell, that want to make a living for their family. Share it with every salesperson you know, anybody that could help. Let's not hog it all to ourselves. If you work hard and you take the skill that you learn from me, everyone else in the world could learn the same thing, but it's what you do with it that matters. And by the way, listen, remember this. 
If you go to the elliotgroupnow.com and you'd like to set up a 10 minute Zoom meeting, I'd love to meet you, I'd love to talk to you. It's real simple, it's on the link below, elliotgroupnow.com, you go to schedule a meeting, let's set up a 10 minute Zoom meeting, I'd love to meet you, I'd love to help you. Guys, have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon.